Hey everyone, this is FaZe and welcome to my channel. Apple has officially dropped Beta 8 of iPadOS 26. And as always, I'm back with another video to go over all the new changes and features that we might see with this beta. Personally, I'm not expecting any major changes with Beta 8 as each new beta update is getting more and more polished and refined as we are now just weeks away from the official iPadOS 26 release. Not just for beta users, but for everyone worldwide. But before we jump into Beta 8, I want to do a quick recap of everything we've seen from Beta 1 up till Beta 7, and then we can check out Beta 8, which once again, I'm not really thinking we're going to see anything new now. With Beta 2, Apple made Control Center less transparent, so it's now easier to read your Control Center toggles. In the sound settings, they also added an all-new ringtone, and also within the sound settings, you've got an all-new late night mode, which basically dims the volume of the audio you're listening to late night so that you don't disturb others around you. In the battery settings, you also got more stats and information regarding battery consumption. And lastly, you also got two new Apple Music widgets. With Beta 3, you can now shake the cursor to enlarge and easily find it, which is identical to that on a Mac. We also got the stock iPadOS 26 wallpaper in three additional color schemes. However, one puzzling thing about Beta 3 was that Apple drastically reduced the liquid glass effect across many apps, which a lot of users were upset about as it now looked like frosted glass and not the sleek liquid glass aesthetic that Apple initially unveiled. However, with Beta 4, Apple brought back the liquid glass effect, but in a way where everything was a lot more legible and easier on the eye when it came to reading things. And each beta improved upon the performance and reduced the amount of glitches and bugs that we experienced with Beta 1. Also with Beta 4, Apple once again restored the previously removed summarize notifications option as well. And the camera app icon was slightly modified and we also got an all new dynamic option for the stock iPadOS 26 wallpaper, which changes the color of the wallpaper for you throughout the day. Beta 5, we got an all new bouncy animation on the lock screen for when you're asked to log in with a passcode. And when you hold on to your home screen to enable customization, the minus icons around the app when in jiggle mode have more of a liquid glass effect instead of the more opaque iOS 18 look. You also got all new splash screens for various built-in applications letting you know the all new features that come with those applications with iPadOS 26. In the share sheet, you got an all new airdrop icon that is more vibrant and looks very nice in my opinion. With Beta 6, we were greeted with an all-new walkthrough video explaining iPadOS 26 and all the new features we got, the liquid glass design and all the other functionalities that we received with this update. And I'm so glad that Apple is going in this direction and they're giving us this walkthrough video. Another thing with Beta 6 was Apple refining the look of its liquid glass design. For example, the clock on the iPad's lock screen now has a more pronounced liquid glass look. As you can see, the new design can make the clock appear very different based on the color and brightness of the wallpaper underneath. Apple has implemented tweaks that ensure that the text remains clear and legible no matter what lies underneath these tab bars. Lastly, regarding the visual design, Beta 6 also gives different UI elements more chromatic liquid glass effects. Whenever you're opening or closing out of an app, it's transitioning as if it's sliding out from the dock, and this is all relative to where the app is on your dock. It looks really cool, kind of like a genie effect. We also got all new ringtones, which are different variations of the default reflections ringtone. And with beta seven in control center, I noticed that the background kind of darkens more than ever before so that buttons and icons in control center stand out and are more legible as well. Also with Beta 7, we got this new animated gesture in the preview app where you can move around the magnifier tool and it moves around the entire screen and really shows off the cool liquid glass effect. No idea who would actually use this, but it's a nice little Easter egg. And now let's quickly jump into Beta 8 and see if we even notice anything. All right, so here I am in iPadOS 26 Beta 8. I've been using it for about 30 minutes now, and honestly, I'm not noticing anything different. Like I said in previous Beta 7, with Control Center, the wallpaper darkens, as you can see. It makes everything look nicer and better when you're reading. Um, everything just runs really nice, and there's this cool little animation. It's been there before, but now it feels really smooth, where you minimize and open an app. Really neat. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's really smooth, very stable. Everything opens up really quickly and everything looks really nice. The way the colors and the background looks as you're scrolling through the tab bar or what's underneath the tab bar looks really nice. So the liquid glass is here to stay and everything is very fast and smooth. All right, so with Beta 8, as expected, there isn't anything new. Apple just wants to make sure that everything is stable and running smoothly for the official release. Last week, I said everything feels a lot more refined and polished. And to be honest, that's kind of what I can say now as well. Everything feels a lot more stable. And also, I'm so glad that Apple is not messing with the liquid glass look and feel now. It's almost exactly like what Apple showed 
showed off at WWDC. Because like I said earlier in this video, a few betas back, Apple drastically reduced that liquid glass feel and it almost felt more like frosted glass and not liquid glass. But I'm glad that everything is looking good now because everything that we're seeing now is what the public is going to see when the official release of iPadOS 26 comes in a few weeks. But at the end of the day, I want to know your thoughts. Have you upgraded to beta 8? And if so, how are you liking it? Let me know in the comment section below. And if there's anything that you felt that I didn't cover that you noticed with beta 8, let me know in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so, and I'll see you next time.